Hey everyone and welcome to another DaVinci Resolve tutorial. In this video, I will teach you how to end your music or cut it at any point and make it sound awesome. Just like this. So to start with, you need to go to your audio track, find the place where you want to cut it. You wanna go back a couple of frames, maybe a second, two seconds. In my case, I go a couple of frames backward. You can do it by extending. And what I will be doing is add a cut here to my audio track. You can use a blade. I select it, click here to add a cut. Or if your track is selected and the play head is on top of the place where you want to add the cut, just press Ctrl B and that will add a cut to your clip. Now we need to duplicate this part by holding Alt and drag down. And after that, I need to extend this. The reason why I need to extend this because I need to add the reverb effect to this part part of my edit. Go to effects and from effects go to audio effects and here type reverb in the search. Drag the reverb, drop it here, but we don't want to change it yet. I'll close it because as I said, we need to extend this, but we need to extend it without any audio. And the reason why we need to extend it because we need enough room for the reverb effect to work. So what I will be doing, I'll go to the end of my track, add a keyframe to the audio volume, and then drag this couple of seconds and then move one frame forward, reselect my audio track and drag the volume all the way down to minus 100. And that will mute my clip. Go back to the effects on the audio track, go to reverb, select this button or press this button and that will open up the settings. First thing we need to do is change the room size. I'll change it to something around 24. You can change this based to your liking, but I find something between 24 and 80 will give you the best result in my case and that might be different for you. Second, what we need to do is take the reverb time and drag it all the way up and this you need to take this. I can end it there and that will work, but you can also keep tweaking and playing with these knobs here. So other values that I will change is the distance. I'll take it somewhere to nine. And for the brightness, I also change the brightness. In this case, I'll take it to a little bit, push it above. You can play with the reverb tone. You can decrease the high frequency or increase the low frequency. That's up to you. And finally here, if you felt the effect is too strong, you can take the dry wet and reduce it. So dry is like if you don't have the effect at all and wet give you the full effect. So if you want to reduce it, you can take it back. So maybe I'll take it to 80. Reverb also reduce it. Like if you take this, as you can see here from the graph, this reduce the amplitude of the reverb. I don't want to take it all the way down, but probably I'll take it to something like minus seven. And this is just experimenting. Like uh, I would encourage you to go and play with these knobs, change them and see like what difference it will make. So if I go back. I like this effect now. One thing also I can do is drag this keyframe, the one that I have at minus 100, and drag it a couple of frames. That will give more room for the effect to fade out. So I'll keep it there and we can also test it again. Yeah, I like this effect. So that's how you do it. Hope you like this effect. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And if you have any question about this effect or anything else regarding DaVinci Resolve, please leave it in the comment and see you in another one.